Welcome back to the Nightly Breathe Fight channel. We're really glad that you could join us today. I'm Habib. I'm Bill. And I'm Raz. So on this channel, we're going to discuss future fights, predictions, and thoughts. We're also going to be sharing our expertise in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and just general self-defense uploading videos regularly and sharing fight tips all right so today's topic we're going to begin with an interesting fight fury chisora free so i'm going to throw this at my friend deal what do you think oh bruv man um, usually all and any, any trilogy fights as you guys know are in huge demand but i don't think this fight is yeah, I have immense respect for Fury, but um, I think I don't think he should have taken this fight. Uh, if we go go into a little bit of context, uh, it's going to be dancing again with uh, Derek Chisoro once again. And that too for the WC BC heavyweight title next month in Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That's the third of December. Um, if I'm correct, the first fight was in July 2011. And it was an interesting fight as this was the first of two fights that they had. If you remember, I think they've had, they, they, this is the third fight, and uh, the first fight, Tato Fury kind of enraged Chisora by threatening him over the conference call where he said his willingness to kill Chisora in the ring. Now, now that you know that's a bit tasteless even for Fury. So what do you think, uh, what do you think about the second fight compared to the first fight they had? Well, if we go back to the if we go back to the first fight, you know, Chisoro actually came in at 18 stones and nine pounds, and he was a uh, bit out of shape. Do you remember watching that fight, Ralph? When yeah. they fought, Chisoro actually ended up getting some early success when he rocked Fury in the second round. He actually yeah. caught Fury, but yeah. Fury wasn't as experienced back then. He winged Fury with a left hook, and as Fury retreated, he caught him with that good straight right that actually mm. rocked him. Yeah, but um, because he was carrying that extra weight, he gassed out and lost on unanimous points. Decision Fury and uh, Decision Two Fury. Uh, he did well to end up uh, reaching the final bell. And you know, you just think that you know, even for a second fight, why would he be even taking a second fight like that in the first place? Yeah, let alone now a third fight. And you yeah. very well know what's happened in the third fight as it is. What you how what did you think about his first fight, Ross? First fight I thought was uh, Fury did it on purpose. I thought he wanted he knew he was upcoming himself, so I feel like he did it for entertainment um, to be a bit ballsy and just fight Chisora's fight just for the fun of it. I think he knew he was going to beat him and he's capable of you know adapting when he needs to. So I thought he did it on purpose. He just wanted a little gunfight just for the crowd. So that's why I thought he got rocked again. It was a bit close around that those two, three rounds. Um, on the second fight, look what happened. He schooled him bad. And he said he's going to school him. And he even said, I'm going to whoop you this fight so bad. I'm going to show you that. If I want to beat you, I'll beat you easy. And that's what he did. He, you know, he, he just plastered him the whole fight. And I think it was round 10, was it? Uh, or something like that. He didn't come out. Or it was over. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what happened before his uh, second meeting with the uh, Fury? Yeah. Mm. He actually went on to fight. You know that Helenius who got recently knocked out yeah, by yeah. Deontay Wilder. He yeah. went to fight Helenius and Klitschko, and he lost to points with both of them. Both of them. Mm. Then he fought, and he was stopped in round five. He, yeah. you, know, you know who he is, I think, yeah. David. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So he went on to fight, fight him and he got stopped in round five. He went on to win with a stoppage of Malik Scott. And I don't know how he ended up getting another fight with Fury for the second. I'm actually disappointed this third fight is actually happening. But he looked like, in that second fight, he actually looked like he's going to be a bit more challenged because of the way he took out Malik Scott. Yeah? But mm. unfortunately, when they did fight, Tassin Fury, as you said, was, yeah? Tyson Fury just put on a masterclass in boxing and Chisora's corner pulled him out in round 10. You're right. So, your, uh, what's your prediction for the third fight, do you think? Uh, Same way? Do you know the question? 
You know what? The question is this, yeah? Is the third fight really necessary? Could Fury have chosen anyone else? That's what the actual question should have been. Joshua, Joshua would have been a better fight. It would have been good money, but obviously contractual obligations and, you know, all that hoo-ha. It's red tape, isn't it? Happened. Yeah. Uh, hell, uh, even Usyk was there. Usyk's laughing, man. Have you seen the papers? He's just mm. laughing. He's saying, what a joke. What, why I even do this fight? Yeah? Joe Joyce. What happened to Joe Joyce? He had a fight last year, you know, he did suck it. Yeah, but... No, no, that was Du Bois, sorry. Joe Joyce, he beat um, Joseph Parker. Yeah. He beat Joseph Parker last Yeah, he's 36 years old, yeah? But I think that would have been a good fight. That guy's a heavy hitter, bro. Yeah? Mm. But he also missed out with Du Bois. Du Bois, yeah, he's got eye socket uh, problem from his Dubois. He's had one Yo, last Dubois. 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 Sorry. Dubois. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah? Um, and then, you know, that joke thing that Fury had with uh, Mahmoud Char. Yeah, even though I know, you know, he'd probably beat all of them that I've just named. Yeah? yeah. It would have been a better fight than Chisora. Yeah, and some some of these people are people that he hasn't fought before. Yeah? Right? But the yeah. main thing is, he could have chosen anybody. Why well, Chisora? Why did he choose? Why do you think he chose Chisora? Yeah. It's an easy <laughs> fight. I think it's money. What do you think of it? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Because when you look. I do a lot of training, right? And you guys know I do a lot of training, but I, d I don't do a lot of watching. Um, so you guys are the experts here. But the one thing I know in this field is, come and look what's happened, is everyone's capitalizing, right? They're trying to monetize on whatever they can, wherever they can. And this is the easy place that he can monetize, right? People like these one, two, threes. It becomes more of a showcase rather than an actual showcase of boxing talent and having the right opponents. And that's what you see in the industry. Look what happened with, what's that guy? From YouTube and and Mayweather. Oh, Deji, Deji, Deji. Uh, KSI's brother is it? Something like that. He had a he had a fight oh, with Mayweather. No, no, no. Lo yeah. Logan Paul or something. Jake Paul or something like that. Yeah, is it Jake Paul? Is Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul. Where well, Anderson Silva? Yeah. Look, it was it was money based. Like they they're coming in and they're doing this same thing with um, Tyson Fury because you've seen him fight. But well, listen, don't you think Fury got enough money? You don't have to... Yeah, but you also know that Fury likes to muck around in his games. So it's a bit of money while he just... You could play the crowd, maybe. Yeah. All right, guys. So did you see um, the interview with True, Jordy and Fury? No. Uh, I've been meaning to catch up with that. But, uh, you know, tell us exactly what's happened with that one. Basically, uh, in a nutshell, True, Jordy interviewed Fury and he... Um, through some tough questions at him. Like questions that everybody wants to ask. Why are you fighting Chisora again? Nobody wants to see that fight. You're uh, charging this money, hard earned money that people are earning to pay for this fight is not worth it. Why are you fighting Usyk, Joshua, all the other guys, basically. Um, and he's just saying, in, my opinion, in his opinion, this is a waste of time. Um, and Fury got really defensive through the whole time. He was defensive. And you know it's all defensive when they start insulting an interviewer. And he's saying, oh, Chisora's done more than 10 men like you ever do. And you know, when you throw in comments like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. he's getting really, yeah. he's getting very angry. And you knew he got angry at the end because he lost it. He said to True Jordy, you, <laughs> you're a shit house," And basically swore at him at the end of the interview. And then I thought about it and I thought, this guy, he'd been through mental health issues before. Do you remember when he was out for three years? Yeah. He was on coke, drink, alcohol, wanted to kill himself. He was overweight. He just didn't want to live no more. He was in a That's bad type of food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, in yeah. A dark, He was in a dark place, right? And then he came back from that. And the reason he was okay is because, you know, he managed to get himself back in. Uh, you know, fix his mind back up is because he focused on boxing so much and it helped him. You know, boxing helped him uh, escape that life again. Uh, that life where he was just losing it. Um, I feel like he's gone back there because after the um, Dillian White fight, he immediately retired. And I thought, why is he retired? He's got Yusuf, Joshua, you know, he ain't dealt with them yet. Well, why are you retiring for? And then then I find that he's um, he's got other things to keep him preoccupied. So he was writing a book, 
Um, he was going to do a Christmas song. Exactly. He, he had things to keep him busy. Yeah. So he thought, oh, I don't need boxing. Um, you know, maybe he fell out of love with it a little bit. So he probably thought, I'm going to focus on this. Uh, and I think he's not happy with it. Like, it's not doing it for him. So I'm thinking, oh, he's, he's going through this mental break again, I think. And now he's thinking, I need to go back to boxing. So why did he come out of retirement so quick suddenly? He's come back in again, and he's now calling everyone out. And now he's going to fight Jezoro. So I think he's in a, he's not, he's minding 100%. That's why he's fighting Jezoro. I think he's in two minds about boxing. He's like, he's gone back to that dark, darkness where he's like not sure about anything anymore. And I think he's like, oh man, I'm going to go back to boxing. And I hope it fixes me up again, but I don't really want to go hard into the big fight straight away. Let me just test the water. So I think that's why, because he's the big guy. Look, all right, you took all the belts, you know, like most of the belts, because he took it off Joshua. Like you'd think he's the A side, but he's not. Fury's the A side in heavyweight. Now, what anyone says, he dictates who he's going to fight and he'll fight them. And they'll have to fight him. So he gets the pick. So I, he's picked Jezora, I think, on purpose. Because he wants to... I think he's suffering something, you know, like a little mental break again. Deal with that. Do you reckon that he's, he's picked Chizora then because it's an easy win to get back in? Like you were saying, you know, with all the stuff that's going on. Just to test the waters again. It's a yeah. bit safer for him. Uh, and just to get his mind right again. Because, you know, with Fury, I always said he is... When he's on focus mode, yeah, I always said, nobody can beat this guy. Because he's wired differently. That's what I believe. I think he's wired differently. If he focuses on something, yeah, you can't get him off that focus. He, he, he just, he's so good. Like, you know, confidence, um, the, the um, determination, everything's there. But I think at the moment, he's not that person. He's a bit shaky. But he's not going to admit it. But I think that's why he chose you. So that's my uh, that's your opinion. What do you think, Dale? From what I've been seeing, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a true story. True. This is actually a true story. Yeah. You know, uh, the day before he announced his uh, what do you call it, his retirement, uh, when he stopped, when he was in a bad mental place. Yeah. He was mm. actually <laughs> he was with somebody in uh, the Jewel Park in Toronto. Yeah. Because Tyson Fury, I'm a big fan. He's, he's one of the local heroes. He lives right next to, uh, you know, where I've got my business. Yeah, they've come over to the living room. You know, they come in the local mm. area and took into the village. Oh, you know, we always see Paris. We always see uh, Tyson Fury. You'll see him, his dad. You even see, what's his name? Uh, not George Joyce. Joseph Park. Tommy. Think. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he ends around them. Yeah. Running up the, running up the prom, promenade, you know, uh, in slime, running down the country lanes and stuff like that. Um, next to Happy Mountain Park, you know, running up and down over there. Yeah. You'll always mm. see his dad or him, Joseph Parker and everything. Yeah. Um, you know, after up seeing him, you know, we saw him in the park, and you know, I didn't go in. Obviously, there were people outside the meeting. He was there, you could see him through the window, he was there the next day. And I, I, I think I've, I remember telling you, Raz. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you called me out. This about. was a true story. Next day, he said, um, he's retired. He's not boxing anymore, he's quit. But he mm. was proper, he was big. When I said he was really big. Mm. But, um, you know, after he made a comeback, you know, I've seen him. He's come over and grabbed some food. And... He looked really healthy. Big guy, big guy. Like, massive yeah, guy. Giant, yeah. man. Mm. But obviously, you've got star scrap. I was like, yeah, man, champ, champ, champ. <laughs> but giving me the food and everything. And, um, you know, top guy. Lively. Lively, mm. yeah. But, you know what you said? I, I'm going to disagree with one of your things. Like, maybe he's in a bad place or anything. Recently, he's been seen in Northland, you know, doing this Netflix documentary. Mm. He's even been on Jonathan Ross, so and, and he's training for his fight in uh, Morecambe. He's in a training camp in Morecambe, yeah. So you do actually see him at and about, and he looks fine. He absolutely mm. looks fine. There's nothing wrong with him, yeah. Maybe he's doing this because he's given uh, Derek Chisora another chance, but yeah, maybe he shouldn't be giving him that chance again because he's coming off a few losses, man. 
Ce a venit Yeah, it's an easy fight, fight easy yeah. money, probably warm up for the next fight because next yeah. fight it could they're saying it might be the Bo- uh, you know the boss. Is that right? Is that how I'm on the boss? The boss. What? Well, and Fury yeah. may fight next year in 2023. Anthony Joshua actually said today, I think, in in the papers or, or the news, he said, you know, that fight mm-hmm. is going to happen. It'll be a damn shame. If they didn't get that for yeah, one of them yeah, yeah. There's yeah. also, like I said, Joe Joyce, yeah? You know, he's 36. How, how much longer this guy has no losses? He's had 14 wins, bang, straight mm-hmm. back in the back of the road. Yeah? yeah? That guy's a powerhouse. Can you give this guy a chance? Yeah, out of those three, you should give them a chance at least. The only reason yeah, that's was, it. See, this is what I was going to play. Because of the yeah. ice socket. Yeah, he's yeah, sick yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, you I mean in theory, I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, and I think, uh, you know what? I'm not who will say, oh, he, he'll take him on, yeah? And this, that, the other. I don't think any heavyweight has a chance with uh, Fury. If he's on point. If he's the on guy's point. just too awkward, bros. You're, you're right, mm-hmm. bros. And he moves too fast for a heavyweight. Too fast. But not only that, man, he gets up. You remember, like, if he, like, he gets up and he, he, he don't stop. Well, which fight was it? He got knocked out and he was literally KO'd. You see, right at the last second, gets up and wins it. And then he won the you round. Know, yeah, then he won the round. Oh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Chizoro. Yeah, I think he's now become one of the one of these journeymen. He's just a gatekeeper, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, journeyman, like, though, you go get uh, past him to go up. Yeah. Uh, Is that what you mean by gatekeeper? He doesn't actually have to. He doesn't actually have to get past him. He could actually go for somebody else. But I think he's helping Chizoro out. I, I genuinely think he help, he's actually helping him out by taking this fight. Like, I think this he's going to treat this as a warm-up fight. But he is, mm. I can tell you now, he's going to absolutely piss on him. Because the guy's, the guy's still yeah. in shape. He's looking good. I've seen him I've seen him about. He's actually... Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, got, he's, he's a freak of nature. He, he can look out of shape. And he can go throw rounds hard, bounce around at that size. He's a freak of nature anyway, so that's not even a problem for him about being in shape. Yeah. And he's just, he's just that way, you know. He's just, he's I told you that it might be a little money gap. It might just be a little bit of money. Alvin is ever doing money, I man. He's popping up. It's always to do with money, if you think about it. It'll always be a little, it's got to be partially to do with money. If if he's gonna do something, you know, you know, huh? It could be the promoters, you know. Yeah, but yeah, they, they they delay things, innit? They they put spanner in the works. Promoters, they don't want fights to happen at certain times. Do you know Not what yet. I think? The man of Anthony Joshua. I think that Anthony Joshua and um, Fury fight got messed up with the promoters. <clears throat> it got messed up both of them. Just money hungry. Yeah, I don't think it was actual fighters. I don't think it was actual fighters. Going back and forth, back and forth to the kids of that. He wants it to happen. Fury wants it to happen. Joshua wants it to happen. But I think it was just uh, the promoters were just taking a bit. If they really wanted it to happen, they would have made it happen. Even Usyk. If Usyk wanted to make it happen, if he was that dead serious, he knows, you know what, Fury's going to blow him out of the way. I'm sorry, I know you're a huge fan of Usyk, right? I don't think but you, you know, very well know. But I think he'll be, he'll be Usyk, I think. Usyk, I think he'll do it completely. Simply the size and the uh, openness of you, uh, you know. Look, when he fought Chizoro, you know when Usyk fought Chizoro, yeah? Usyk, what, what he won on points, yeah? Who, um, uh, Usyk. Usyk. Yeah, yeah. He won on points. If, and, you know Chizoro, I rate him when you, you know, you know, 10 years back, yeah, he, he was holding it up, yeah, he took on Klitschko, he mm. took on, he took, he didn't duck anybody, but when he fought a guy who's almost, you know, uh, you know, what's the, what's the one down from, um, uh, heavyweight, right, so super middleweight? Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight, yeah, somebody from light heavyweight, and Chizoro's a proper heavyweight, yeah, and that guy, Usyk, you could have knocked him up. Yeah, but... Don't forget, he's not bad for lots of I rate him for what he did. I rate him for what he did with uh, Anthony Joshua, and I know you were at that fight. I absolutely yeah, yeah, rate him for what he did. Though. I yeah. him, but I don't think he's going to do that to Fury whatsoever. 
What do you think of him? I don't know. Do you know what? I saw him fight with Anthony Joshua, right? But then Anthony Joshua looked like he he ran out of steam anyway. Like he 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 didn't look passionate in that fight. Like he'd lost his uh, energy to fight. Like, but in terms of Usyk, he's skillful. You can tell he's skillful. He knows how to play the game. If he was to fight with Fury, he'd still lose. But knockout? No, I don't think he'd get knocked out. I think he'd be able to handle himself. I don't. Who? Usyk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, uh, yeah, against Fury because he, he may get knocked down, but I don't think he'll get KO'd. Yeah, I think it'll be points. Yeah. No. Because he's got enough skill. Bear, bear in, he's got enough skill to move. His movement's good. Mm. I think he'll get knocked out because no, you that one punch. Yeah, you were there, Raz. <clears throat> I know you were there. So you know when uh, Joshua did the hook to the body. Mm-hmm. Uh, music. But only thing that Joshua didn't do was actually go for the kill straight after that. He gave him that space mm. to recover. That was the yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it could, have, it could go that way. Because yeah, uh, that, 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 that actually that hurt him. That yeah, hurt. yeah, that did hurt him. Fury, if you remember, look what he did with Deontay Wilder. One of yes. the devastating punches mm. in this industry. Look how he messed it. after the first first fight. Yeah? yeah, the second one, he took the absolute piss out of uh, uh, Wilder. Wow, so we were like, your ass. <laughs> we yeah. were yeah. jumping off our feet. <laughs> yeah, we were like, we were up shouting at like at 3, 4 in the morning. But no, 5 in the morning, and Ray was just sleeping yeah. on the couch. The Ray was knocking, yeah. and we were just shouting eyes up. <laughs> yeah, and great the third fight, he absolutely demolished it. Yeah, so that was good what do you fight. think? Yeah, what do you think he's going to do to Usi? Yeah, yeah but you think he's a crafty fighter, he can box. You know, Wilder can't box. If you look at Wilder, his fundamentals are terrible. What carries in Fury is he's going to let him. I don't think he's going to let him. But I think you think he's crafty. He's, he's dealt with many different styles in it. So, uh, he'll prepare. You think he's a world class fighter. Yeah. You will know at least how to survive. Because the thing is, you've got to remember, like, he'll prepare for Fury. If he's going to prepare for Fury and he, if he actually gets a fight with Fury, you think he's going to take it lightly? He knows he's going to have to put the work in, right? And and you're going to have a game plan always to 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 last. I mean, you you want to win, you're going to fight to win, but you you're going to have a game plan. You're going to make sure bare minimum you don't get KO, especially with your boxing you skills. Fury closed off the ring to somebody like Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is yeah. the one that walks forward. He's not yeah, scared but, of nobody. But you and can't compare then he made him back up. Work to the new stick to use. Yeah, I know you can't. No, I know you can't. Terrible. But look how he closed the ring off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A fighter that big. Usyk, uh, I'm thinking, Usyk is tiny, bros, compared to Fury. Fury can, is going to tower over him and power him out. But if Usyk can actually have a game plan, because big is not always better. Remember? If you can have skill oh, and have box. If this big, this big is better. <laughs> Fury is. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, this guy's just a freak of nature. Well, yeah, yeah, I said. I agree with him. Freak of I nature. would say Fury will beat any uh, yeah. heavyweight in this era. Nobody will beat Fury. As long as Fury turns up. Yeah, as in, you know, the focus. And if he's got that passion. Because like I said, if you ain't got that oomph to fight, yeah, it will happen. Look what Tyson, happened to Tyson. Well, that's why I think he's fighting Chisora. Because I think he ain't got that oomph to fight just yet. Yeah. I think he wants to just... Um, because when he went out of retirement and he came back, he had quite a few uh, nothing fights. And I think he's retired and he's come back again and he's doing it again. Oh, he's, he's trying to reignite. He's yeah. trying to reignite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like fire fire yeah, yeah. Don't you remember when Tyson came out, right? And Tyson basically left. When he came, sorry, when he came back, right? He tried a few fights, but even Tyson just lost it. And then that was it. Once you don't care, you don't care. I think he's in the midst of trying to figure out what he wants. That's it. He's- He's going for a little mental break. Yeah. He's not quite, he's not, <laughs> you make it sound like he's going for a breakdown, though, when you say mental breakdown. Like, yeah, because he has broken down before, do you know what I mean? Badly. Uh, I think he's in a better place now. He's a, he's a, he's a personality. He's like one of them, man. He, he, he thinks too much, overthinks. Uh, and, you know, he, he, he has to battle yeah. with himself a lot. But Dill, you said he, he looks healthy, isn't he? Hmm? Dill said he looks healthy. He looks healthy, bro. 
Se não sou mais louco, se não sou mais louco, eu não sou mais louco. 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 Eu não sou When he had put on the weight, and when I when I say he put on the weight, yeah, he was big. I think everybody saw him on telly. I seen him live, where he's he was he was big. He was a big man, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've seen him in proper shape. The guy, suave, bro. He look clean, cut, not rough. We'll see. We'll find out on the uh, December third. But I've got a question. You've seen the first fight. You've seen the second fight. What do you think? How's it going to go on the third fight, in your opinion? Now, if you think, uh, what do you think is going to go the distance or is going to end? Um, who's going to end the fight? Well, I'm guessing you're going to say Fury, of course, but what round? What's your prediction on this third one? How's it going to go? Well, I want to hear from Dill nah, first. You know, the second fight <clears throat> with the experience that he had then, Fury, he took him out and he absolutely. Like I said, he did a masterclass on Chisora, yeah, mm. and he beat the living daylights out of him, like put him out of his misery. So this third fight, Browse, it'll probably he, if he, you know what, <clears throat> he'd probably do it out of charity. I don't want to say that; that's not a word I use lightly. But you know, he'll probably do it at charity. Say, oh, do you know what? I'll let him go five rounds. And, you know, <laughs> if Chisora makes that mistake of actually clipping him and it hurts him, he'll probably take him out early or just give him that. Round so people get their money as well. Other, other than mm. that, I think Fury is gonna piss play off. the crowd. He's, yeah, he's gonna play the crowd. Obviously, he's gonna make it entertaining. Mm. But thing is, he I don't think he's gonna want to embarrass him too much. Either put him out of his misery, yeah, yeah. But he's gonna have to make this fight worth the uh, people's money because he doesn't want people to basically think, "Oh, do you know what? I just wasted, you know, this much money on a, on a ticket." Or a Sky box office just to watch this fight, and he just finished off in two rounds, three rounds, four mm. rounds. You know, Did you say five, yeah. Whatever time. Do you think five? Um, hmm? I did like saying five then. Prediction of knockout. I say <clears throat> I'm gonna say four, four rounds, four, four to six. He's gonna have it. He's gonna have it. And what do you think? Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna lick it make it go any further than that because it's just you know it's too much of a too much of a day's work in the hill he'll make light work of it and then probably sing a song <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I, I i predict he's going to win definitely um in terms of rounds i'm not as educated as you lot in this area but judging on what i've seen from fury <clears throat> and hearing what you guys have said i i still think he's gonna have to play the crowd make sure people are not unhappy etc like they'll be saying uh, yeah I'd say if he's got the passion for it, he'll 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 probably play a little bit further maybe. But I'm thinking more towards the sixth side, right? Because the four five, if he if he does it, okay, unless unless he's got a breakdown, it knocks him out in the first round. Like Ross is saying, it cracks. Yeah, <laughs> first round of KO. But I I don't think he'd do that. The fans would be disappointed. So let's call it fifth or sixth round. I'd say. Fifth or six? I'll, I'll, I'll narrow it a little bit. Kind of like with Bill. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm four, five, and six. One of them rounds. Yeah. But if you want a proper, yeah. proper, proper round, I'll say he'll go past four and he'll give him fifth. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Ross? Uh, it's, it's, I think uh, he's gonna. Because Chizora is very uh, one dimensional fighter, he just okay. does one thing. He comes forward, and that's all he does, and throws big shots, haymakers, over the top. That's his style. He, he doesn't do any boxing. He don't jab, really. You know, try and box it. He's just going to come straight forwards. So I think the first two rounds, maybe, Fury's just going to let him tire himself back, Luke. Fury's going to just do what he does. Bounce around, pop a few jabs in his face, sting him a bit. Uh, and then Chisora's going to get tired. Three, four. Fury might be kind and just keep popping him off a little bit like that through the whole round, smother him up a bit, get him more tired. And I think where I noticed Chisora fades is after six, where he starts getting lazy. He don't really um, pay attention to his defense anymore. So I'm going to say uh, Fury stops him seven or eight, I think. 
it will stop him. It could, like you guys said a lot earlier, but I think because he's just going to think, let this guy burn himself out, you know, like a bull. You're not going to let go at a bull when he's coming at you. Let him, let him burn out a little bit. So I think he's going to get him later. Right. So I'll go for seven more than eight um, by stoppage. That's my prediction. Um, by stoppage? I, I, don't, I don't see it down all the way. Yes, yeah, so okay, seven. seven. Raz at seven. And uh, yours is? Minus six. Six, and I'll, and I'll say, <coughs> well, I'll type six. All right, I'll say six. I'll, I'll stick to six, because Raz is kind of sort of, you know, sweet. Thank you. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, that's he did that. trade me because he was, he said, you're right. If, if your ball's coming at you, you, you defend, you let him wear himself out. In any sport, whether it's boxing, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai. Well, Muay Thai is a bit more aggressive. Yeah, but um, Jiu Jitsu, we do the same thing, let them gas out, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I think he'll get bored though, you know, pushing it to 7 8, you know, yeah. That's why at 6, if he's gonna gas out, he's gonna go for the kill. Yeah, yeah. And Chisora is very easy to hit. Um, I mean, I was I was at his last fight with um, Hewlett. I watched that. Oh, he, beat, he beat Kubrat Kulev though. He beat Kulev, and to be honest, the only thing I was impressed with Chizora on that fight uh, was his movement. His head movement was a lot of head movement. He was just constantly moving his head, rolling, rolling, like just full stop. And after that's when I was like, okay, I haven't seen that before. Uh, that's pretty good. He's managed to do that a lot. Um, so that's why I say uh, because I saw that. That's why I'm saying a bit later in the fight. Because he might have the energy to keep rolling and moving like that. Yeah. So maybe evade a few shots first. But the, the, the Fury's a different beast. He'll tire him out more quicker than Fury did. That's why I think. And he's sharp, of, of course. Uh, we know Fury's very sharp. And I think he'll catch him then, around seven, once he's tired out. But yeah, when I saw that fight, he, he had a lot more head movement. Um, but he wasn't busy. He, he was kind of waiting a lot um, for a little break and then it was like 10 seconds left on the round then it was going for it you know I was trying to end the round strong but not battling so much during the main round you know the, that Pula was uh, work rate was so much higher so much higher than this personally I thought Pula won that fight uh, when I went to see that one by not not, not a big margin but you know, close, it was a close fight, I'd say, but I thought Kulev won it. But they gave it to Jezora. Um But yeah, he, I think that's that's why I say seven, maybe eight, because he, he seemed to learn a bit more than him. I saw. But we'll see. Anyway, it's been a fantastic episode. Today we've had a brilliant discussion. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, there it is, folks. That's our predictions. All three are our predictions. Uh, we'd love to hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment below what round or predictions you think um, this fight's going to go. Um, what your thoughts are in general. And hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. As always, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Uh, we're always updating our videos. We're always talking about fresh new topics. If you really like this, there's plenty more to come. Take care. Ciao. Ciao.